welcome to the channel. I'm Summer. If you are new, today's haircut tutorial, we are going to be creating shorter layers all throughout this haircut, but doing it with a stationary guide. We're gonna be maintaining the current length and weight that we already have in our face frame, but adding nice flow all throughout the rest of the hair to create even more movement, even more shape, and more volume. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna show you her dry, what she looks like visually now. She's got a lot of shape here around her face for her face framing and what we're gonna do this in her face framing area the front is what's gonna be our guide to create our layers because as you'll see through the rest of her back she's got layers and movement but they're more of like a long to medium layer she still has quite a bit of length with the layers so we're gonna be bringing these up shorter but she doesn't want to jeopardize the face framing that we have in the front so the face framing is going to be our guide for creating our shorter layers back through here. So I just wanted to show you that visually to kind of get an idea. You can see this is about her longest point of her face frame. You can see how much more length is there that we're gonna go ahead and be removing to create all of the layers and movement. So I'm gonna get her spritzed down and then we will get to cutting. All right, so we've got her hair nice and damp. And so now what we're gonna do is we are going to set our guide. So what we're gonna be doing with the stationary guide, stationary guide, everything comes back to the same point. You can do it either everything comes forward, everything comes back for this, everything's gonna be coming to the back to create more of those layers back here as we already have them more so in the front. So I just got our hair kind of pushed over here on her shoulder so I can set my guide through here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in to where her face frame is and we're gonna check this out and see where our longest point is. So here it starts really curving back into this length. So I'm just gonna grab this longer point. So all this hair is still gonna be there. And what we're gonna do is grab our baseline at the perimeter, cause that's gonna be your longest point compared to up top. She's got some layers there. And we are gonna bring this all the way back to the center of the head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a small section at the top layer. You could make it small, not too big, small enough that you'll be able to base the rest of your guide. And so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna comb this straight out from the center of her head and you can see all of this extra length that's gonna get removed. So I'm just gonna bring it out. I let a little bit of that guide fall and cut. And that is gonna be our guide. So I'm gonna let this fall back down. And so what we're gonna do now is officially take a little bit better of a section here. I'm gonna comb all that hair forward. And then I got my guide here. Take my first section, push all this hair forward out of the way. You can choose to clip it if you want, but with her little half shoulders, she makes it easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first section and we're gonna be combing straight out from the head. And I'm gonna start at the top section first. And we're gonna come straight out and I'm just gonna lightly angle my fingers here to just keep a nice blend going. Nothing too crazy, just a light angle. And I see my guide up here. Come lightly twist and cut. Take the rest of our hair, come out, following that guide, cut. And the rest of the hair, twisting, our perimeter's falling some, cut. So this layer is technically moving down a little bit but all of the hair is going to be directed back 
to this back section. So I'm gonna take my next section here, keep all that hair pushed forward. And now with a traveling guide, I would come out and I would lightly round with the head here. So I would be coming straight out from this section, but that would create a traveling guide. So what we're doing is bringing everything back to the center. I'm gonna show you, here's my center. This, I'm over directing back lightly. I'm not coming out with it at a side. I'm over directing it back to that center point. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow your guide all the way through that you've created. I like to start at the top. Come out, we're gonna lightly curve our fingers. Make sure you're taking small enough sections that you can see your guide. Cut. What I usually do with a client in salon, I will leave them in the same position. I don't move their chair. I leave them typically facing for the mirror and I'm constantly standing behind them at my guide. So everything is coming right back to that guide. And so as you move further to the front, you're gonna have less and less hair that you'll be removing. section. Straight out from the head, lightly twisting our fingers. What I'm twisting for is because I'm leaving that perimeter out as much as possible. You kind of want to be pulling straight out center and like almost lifting up to the center. So we're getting into that face framing part and I'll probably have a little bit to cut with this one, but the Next section, I don't think I really will. So I'm pulling it with some good, nice tension, fine side of my comb. Start at that top part, come straight out, lightly, lightly twist. Barely anything there. And then last piece, this isn't even gonna do anything. Just barely. And so now what we're gonna do, we'll come over to our other side. And again, we're gonna be bringing straight back to the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave out this small section here and all this is gonna get combed over the shoulder because we don't need that. So 
So already look at the difference. How much length we've removed with our layers, gonna have much more shape than what we started with. So a stationary guide will kind of, basically it directs all the weight towards where you're pulling from. So if I were to be pulling this all forward, the weight would be kept more so in the back. And because we're bringing it all back, the weight is being maintained in the front. Now she does obviously have those layers already um, in the front, but what you'll see is kind of more of an even flow from where we started and like a light angle almost that goes through to the front because as these layers come back, they get elongated because you're coming back to the same point. And again, we're angling this hair out. Again, you're basically kind of trying to come from the center of the head to create all your layers. I typically would like to stand directly behind her here, but because I'm trying not to block this other camera, I'm a little off to the side with my body positioning where I would typically be coming basically right in front of where the center of the head is, where you're bringing the hair back to. Fine side of that comb to get good tension. Twist as you're pulling it out. Again, blocking the one camera, but I'm coming, bringing everything towards me, twisting, cut. I need to put some sandbags on my tripod because she keeps coming back, pulling all this hair. This mannequin has way too much hair. Oh, I don't even have a piece there. So I have maybe about two more sections to go and then we will get our blow dry started. Show you really quick. I've got just this last little bit to move through. So I'll barely have anything off of this last piece, but I just wanted to show you, I'm just coming straight down and we're combing straight back to our center point. So I would say the hardest part of a stationary guide is if uh, your client or yourself have a ton of hair like this mannequin, um, because it's a lot of hair to move through to pull it all back to the same section. Barely got anything here. Because this mannequin has so much hair, every time I go to comb it straight back, she just bobs up. I need something to keep her in place. And let's see if we've got anything coming back.
Yep, okay. Much more movement and layers that we're gonna be having here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her dried first and then I will go in with some more dry cutting. Probably will need to lightly texturize the very top layer. I did do a blunt cut, I didn't like point cut or anything. So I'll need to soften it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how much more movement she has. I love the layers, as you guys know. For her blow dry, I'm just using Kenra's silkening gloss just to give some nice shine and some movement. And then I'm just gonna be going in with my round brush and creating lots of shape to get some bend through the ends. And then we'll see how it comes out. All right, so we have her fully dried. I went back to a middle part. This was originally on a side part and I forgot, but she He's at a middle part now. Lot more shape and movement all through here. It looks so good, honestly. Um, I do wanna texturize a little bit through some of the ends, just lightly to soften it on this top layer, but otherwise, like, the blowout, oh, she's not in place, came out good. But yeah, she definitely just needs a little bit of texturizing, cause it's just a little, cause you're keeping all that thickness with those stationary layers. So she needs to be blended just a little bit, but we still kept the movement here at our face frame, but it's not like any shorter. There's not less of it. And it just flows all around much nicer. So I'm gonna use just my standard texturizing shears to get her ends softened. And so what I'm gonna do is come back to that center I'm just gonna start here in the middle and I'm just gonna lightly cut into that to keep it soft. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around the head, but again, I'm bringing it back towards that middle. I mean, you could round with it if you want to, but I just find it easier to go back to the center guide. Ugh. It's mostly the top layer in this back area that's just a little too thick. This mannequin had so much hair. This is her third haircut even too, I think. And just, it never seems to like lessen no matter how many times I cut it, it's so thick. You'll notice with the stationary guide, like I said earlier, it kind of creates its own angle in and of itself going towards the front. So when I come and grab her layers here, you can see that they just get longer going down towards these front pieces when they come to the back and they just blend through. It creates lots of shape, but they're still uniform and even. Okay, much better, more movement and shape. So I'm just gonna like restyle her really quickly and hairspray her into place and we'll get you guys out of here. All right, here we have our finished look, much more movement all throughout the hair with creating those shorter layers, again, that we did with our stationary guide. So everything came to the back center. We didn't compromise any of the face framing and the front, that all got to remain the same, but we have lots more shape and movement everywhere creating all the body and all the fun. You guys know I love my shorter layers. So I will leave my products I used today linked below in the video as well as the other video about the stationary versus traveling guide if you missed that. So be sure to check it out and I will see you on the next video.